As the Earth spins on its axis, dozens of satellites look down and record temperatures, pressures, electric charges, and even the slow movements of the land masses. This new way of looking at the planet reveals many fundamental facts, including why some parts of the world are fertile and others are not. It's June. Humankind goes about its daily business. In the Big Apple, New Yorkers commute in 25-degree heat. A breeze blows from the east, and the city basks in the sunshine. Eleven thousand kilometers away, in Delhi, taxi drivers struggle to cope with torrential rain. The deluge falls so fast that the streets are flooded in minutes. Meanwhile, seen from orbit, a wildfire rages in northern Australia. And beneath these clouds, hailstones pummel Shanghai. Before the Earth was visible from space, it seemed that such events were unrelated. But in fact, everything is linked. Joining together the data from five satellites reveals one part of the system, one layer. The ever-changing atmosphere that encapsulates our world. This remarkable animation shows how the atmosphere carries moisture on a global scale. Seen here in extreme fast forward, two seconds is equal to a day. The vapor is normally invisible, but now it can be viewed. The whole world in a single frame. When the data is wrapped around a model of the Earth, it gives a new perspective on our planet. All the world's weather is actually driven by one process. The region around the equator receives the highest share of the sun's energy and produces most of the water vapor. A huge band circles the globe. The vapor systems always travel in the same general direction, outwards towards the poles, driven by prevailing winds and the spin of the Earth. In the northern hemisphere, they circle clockwise. Vast swirls of vapor spanning 3,000 kilometers. In the southern hemisphere, they spin counterclockwise. The Earth, always seeking an equilibrium that it never can reach. As these vapor-laden winds strike the various land masses of the Earth, they produce conditions specific to each place. One example occurs in western India at the end of July. Warm, moist air is forced up by a mountain range called the Ghats. Huge clouds bubble up. We call the result the monsoon.
billions of tons of water fall out of the sky, transforming parched land into fertile plains. In China, the monsoon fills up countless paddy fields. This process nourishes three and a half billion people. Half the world's population. <laughs>